Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series Bazooka. And as you can see, it's in the environmental friendly packaging. And it's the older style packaging where it actually showcases the artwork, which looks awesome on this package. And he is number 62 out of the G.I. Joe Classified Series. But let's get Bazooka out of the package. Straight out of the box, you'll notice that Bazooka, just like a lot of the other classified figures, comes with a pair of trigger finger hands equipped and no other alternate hands. One thing that Bazooka comes with that I love is just that iconic helmet that he has. It's done really well, it's sculpted really nice, it's got some wrinkles on there, it's got the band. Just a really well done helmet and honestly it's, it's Bazooka's helmet. Got the little straps down there and the inside is brown. Bazooka does come with a backpack, and the backpack's done pretty pretty well. It's got some strappage sculpted in, wrinkles, a texture throughout, and you got spots for his missiles. Got a spot to hang his bazooka. You know, it's nice to have an actual backpack that can store all the accessories. And it's got some, like, metal bits. So you got the hooks and everything. You got, like, the weird metal at the bottom. Then on the back, it's got all these rivets. And I'm like, I don't understand. I can't imagine that being comfortable. I guess it's the extra weight, or maybe it's protection in case one of the bombs goes off. But I could also see him taking this off and like placing it on the ground and using it as something to protect him from like gunfire. Bazooka comes with four rounds for his bazooka, and two of them are in that olive green plastic, sculpted really nice. They're nice little bazooka rounds. One of the bazooka rounds that we get has actually a little bit of paint to it, and it pays homage to that A10 Warthog paint style it's got like the shark teeth with the eyes and stuff like that looking awesome it's on both sides so you can have a little bit of flavor to his rounds when he's shooting cobra with his bazooka the final bazooka round that we get is a yellow tipped missile with like a little bit of a checkerboard design but mine doesn't line up properly so as you rotate it you'll get to the point where there's like the two pieces that touch right there rotate it does it again there that's a little bit of a disappointment. Like, you're going to put that little bit of effort into it. And it's like, oh, I can only, like, angle it certain ways or else it's going to look weird. Here we have an up-close look at Bazooka's primary weapon, his Bazooka. The sculpt work is definitely there. There's a lot to it. We got the uh, padding on the side that's strapped in there in a different color green. We got the handles, the trigger, holding on to one. We got the sling at the bottom. We got a carrying handle at the top. As we rotate it around, you see it's got the barrel rifling on there and then we also got the side here looking really nice but a cool feature that we get on the back is you get a little little hole for i guess a blast effect but this actually can open up and you can see all the way down in there it's really cool that they added that so you can just rotate it and rotate it back here we have bazooka's backpack all geared up with all his gear the missiles are in place we got the bazooka dangling and uh, it does a really good job of storing all the gear. Here we have an up-close look at Bazooka, and the head sculpt is pretty awesome. It looks like Bazooka. The eyes are done well, the mustache, the hair looks good. I got a little bit of black on the ear tip, but the hair looks really good. We got the part on the side as well. A little bit of extra black on the, the head a little bit, but those are easy fixes. Like a little extra paint stuff, you can take that off. But this looks awesome. He's in that Patriots jersey, 14. Definitely when you're moving the figure around, it can shift that 14 around. Wrinkles. And uh, it's got this like seam that goes across. And when I move the butterfly, you could see right here, there's like a piece of plastic that's a little bit, that got snagged. So I got like this little hanging piece there that's unfortunate. Some stress up here when I move the, the shoulder up. When I articulated it, it hit this plastic, and then underneath, you could see all that stress going on under there. That's it's an unfortunate. It's on this arm. The other arm seems to be all right, but we got the two-tone flesh. Looks better in person, but on camera, it definitely sticks out like a sore thumb. Definitely like the outback elbow situation. Green wristbands. We got the separate floaty belt that goes over his belt underneath. It's got some paint on it pouches looking great all the little holes texture in the pants looking nice and then the big old boots 
And again, I mean, just a solid looking bazooka figure. Just wanted to show again, like this is the right arm, which looks fine. And then this is what happened to my left arm. You can really see that little extra piece of plastic that's stuck there from the, that's got snagged. And you see all that scraping that's going on. And that's unfortunate. And it's like, hopefully I can find another one and get a replacement or something. Cause this is just nasty looking. Let's go ahead and dive into some articulation here. His head can look down that far, can look up. He's got the little bit of attitude going on there. He can almost, yeah, you can do a full 360, you know, nice little movement there. The uh, butterfly joints right there, moving up the arms, pretty much T-posed, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation. We got the vertical hinged wrist, which is nice. So you get nice little articulation there. We get the hula hoop upper torso, but it breaks up that 14. So lean them back and forth. And the 14 goes up quite well. Like it goes way up there. So this is all the way leaned back. So it definitely stretches out that 14. And it still leans them back, which is nice. Lean forward, and of course that's going to scrunch it up, but his leaning forward's not too much. He does have that uh, hula hoop waist, so a little bit of movement there. It's a little snug on mine. He's got the drop down hips, so you can drop the hips down, kick out his leg. Not so far, that one's sort of stiff. The hips on this guy feel stiff. Full Van Dam. Got the biceps or bicep thigh swivel, double jointed knees, which look pretty good. Boot swivel, ankle bend, which this is tight as well, and pivot in the ankle. But I could have swore that he could kick up a little bit. That's it's not horrible, but his hips, as I move them, they feel like they need some lube or something. I don't know, something that because inside there, something's going on where it just feels like it's sticking. Here we have Bazooka all geared up and he is hands free. No weapons or anything in his hands, which is awesome. I love figures that can carry all their gear and I have to worry about having hands occupied. But I wouldn't mind like if he had another gun or something, that wouldn't bother me. But look at all that. Tucked away nicely on his pack. All his gears, his rounds, just a really nice, nice touch to this figure. And the figure just looks awesome and this is the bazooka I was waiting for, not the Tiger Force version. This thing is a beautiful piece. This bazooka figure is awesome. You can have him marching forward with his bazooka ready to blast some Cobra. And one thing I like out of his missiles is I do like the yellow one most of all when it's loaded because it stands out compared to the bazooka. Because the other rounds are in that like greenish plastic that blends in with the bazooka itself. The yellow just gives it that little oomph of pop of color and it you could just tell it's loaded and i love it i love the fact that he can wield it and rest his head on the cheeks like or on the on the padding like it is a awesome figure i really like this figure here we have bazooka with his joe mates and as you can see he is a stockier bigger figure than most but roadblock man has the height advantage on him here we got Bazooka, so you can really see how he scales against the Cobra figures, and plus you might want him hanging out and fraternizing with the enemy. When it comes to Bazooka, if you guys purchase Scrap Iron, you can use his missile effects for the Bazooka. It fits in there tightly, so you gotta sort of like wiggle its way in there, and then you hook up the missile at the tip, but as you can see, the flame part is a lot bigger than the end of the Bazooka round, which is a little bit of a bummer, but you can still get that uh, him shooting off a round from this figure with scrap irons blast effect and honestly busting out some other blast effects those ugly <laughs> coiled up pieces from scrap iron and then i added those as accents to the flame and explosion effects that i got from art g which are phenomenal they're fun to play around with and honestly 
it's a great accent to bazooka i mean explosions going around he's shooting off a bazooka round it's just all out war against cobra and it looks awesome this figure is a great figure besides my little defects that i have on the arm this figure is a great representation of Bazooka. I love it, and I am happy that I have it. And that sums up my unboxing and review of G.I. Joe Classified Series Bazooka. If you guys are enjoying my content, hit that like button. New to my channel, just smash that subscribe button for me as it helps the channel evolve and grow. When you guys want to know when I post up a new video or go live for State of the Art every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, click the silver bell notification. And most importantly, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.